This is super exciting because 300 students are going to go back to school this year with new backpacks. It's on a first come, first serve basis. But here to break it down with us this morning is Teresa Sia, who's the mastermind behind all of this. Teresa, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. So let's talk a little bit about this. Okay. Um, so we're giving out 300 backpacks to under, the underserved community of the Humble Park area. Um, we believe that a lot of kids, there's like over 17,000 kids in the CPS school system that are homeless. So we, one of our goals is to probably just try to get backpacks to people who are underserved and lower income. So there are a ton, and we've talked about this before, there's a ton of school giveaways right before school starts. What makes this one so different? We've been doing this for over eight years, actually, since I've been starting this company. And it just makes a difference because a lot of the kids, you just see their smile when they get a big book bag. And you think it's probably nothing, but it means a lot to them. It means so much for them in the world. And, you know, this in this particular drive, we are not just giving away backpacks. There's, like, a little bit more to it. Yeah, so we have... Um we have a lot of people that have donated, especially corporations. Um, they're getting a, a, a pencil box with full of crayons in it, uh, pouch. you know, pouch. And then also, sorry, it's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> they have, you know, a composition book, a notebook, and a folder. So they're going back to school with a full, you know, full supply of, of books. I mean, not books, but, you know, yeah, notebooks no, and supplies so they can get their, their year started. So it's just a little bit something for the parents to not sweat over, and they can actually use probably some of the finances to or going towards their uniform or anything. Absolutely, and we know how pricey things like that can get. And here to give us that parent perspective is Christine, who's a mother. And Christine, thank you so much for joining us. And explain, why is this so important to the community? Um, it's definitely important because um, being a single mother of six, I've been doing this for a couple years now, and every year around this time, um, it's like crunch time for me. It's really stressful because as I look at these lists, you know, the school supply list gets b bigger and um, just really stressful. So when, you know, we have someone that can come out and do this, they say it takes a village. And um, I'm just blessed because it takes away from my list and then I can just go ahead and shop for like school clothes and get my kids involved in sports. And how does that make you feel to know that a community activist is, you know, putting this together, making sure that your family it doesn't have to go through that stress? Well, like I said, it's, it, it's truly a blessing because, you know, not all families can afford, you know, to go ahead and buy book bags that are 30 to 50, $100, mm -hmm. and, you know, and then on top of that, buy uniforms and, you know. Right, right, absolutely. Well, like I had mentioned and introduced earlier, this is Teresa, the, the woman who's behind all of this. And Teresa, just so our viewers know what exactly is going on, can you give us the location and the time? Okay, so it's going to be in our parking lot, and if it rains, and hopefully it doesn't, it will be inside our clinic um, here. But we're expected to have exotic animals, free food, live music. So we were expecting well, close to 300 people, but if people want to hang out, if the book bags are gone before then, you know, you could just enjoy the activities. It's from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So, you know, it's just going to be a wonderful event and also meeting our neighbors and anybody else that could help out. In the future. Absolutely. Thank you, ladies, so much for joining me. So it's on, a, like I said, a first come, first serve basis. Starts at 3 p.m. here in Humble Park. So make sure you guys get here on time because you don't want the book bags to run out.